AFTV, Kwame, what I'll tell you at the start of the game. Let's go to these places and be ruthless. This thing, oh, oh it's tight <laughs> ground. Oh, they're going to be on top of us. Oh, you know what I mean? The atmosphere. That, I mean, you... go there, stick that chest out and deal with his man. Yeah? Listen, I've got to tell him. You know listen, what I mean? No, 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 we did. We had our thing today. We had our thing where you told me, you know, you've got to just go in there, give them respect, but show them who we are. And you're right. We are a big club. We are Arsenal Football Club. And that was a big message to a lot of people, including myself. Because there was part of me that was saying, you know what, oh, so it's a difficult ground, the atmosphere, yada, yada, yada. But that's based on the previous years that we've had. Mm. But this season, it just feels different. And I said, I will probably make my full, ju well, not my full judgment, I'll make a better judgment after the game. That performance there, you use the word emphatic, 100%. Dominant. Dominant. We stepped on them. We mm. crushed them, bro. Like an ant on the floor, mm. we crushed them. <laughs> we, we didn't let them wriggle. Yeah. First half, we dominated the first half. We played some beautiful football. One or two touch. Zinchenko, uh, uh, even Xhaka. Even Xhaka was playing well. You know, um, Odegaard scoring a goal. How many times have I been saying? I've been screaming mm. for him to shoot. Mm. He was shooting, he was bagging. Gabriel Jesus, amazing, absolutely amazing player um, and an amazing striker for us. And like I said, he epitomises uh, any, for any football club, you want a Gabriel Jesus in your team. But for us, for Arsenal, we've been crying out for someone like this. Mm. Someone who can come and lead the line. And it's, look at the first goal. The first goal was a prime example of why we brought him in and what he brings. He brings something different. And I was trying to think of a striker and I was like, oh, who is it? Aguero a little bit, where he manages to find these little spaces and put the ball in the back of the net. He's like a Suarez. He's got that hunger. He's got that passion. Mm. You know, Suarez when he was at Liverpool and then obviously went to Barca. But he's just, I just like it. When he's on the ball, he just excites me. He gets me on the edge of my seat. And mm. as a fan... Not just as a football, as an Arsenal fan, but as a football fan, it's amazing, man. Yeah, it's amazing. It's electric, isn't it? Oh man, he's fantastic. Mm. He's he's fantastic. And I know people, the you know, rival fans, you lot will be saying, "Ah, oh, you're getting ahead of yourself. It's only Bournemouth. Oh, it's Gabriel Jesus." Blah, blah, blah. Bro, he is so cold, and I I can't even imagine what he's like watching him live. The touches he takes, he gets his body in front of the ball. The times where you think he's not going to get it, he gets it, he gives it, and he's in the box as well. Mm. He's a fantastic asset for us, man. I'm so happy we've mm. got him. We just need to keep him fit. Yeah, and a great goal in the game by Saliba. Well oh. bounced back for him. Last week, he scored an own goal. The fans got behind him, right? And then now, you know, fantastic goal today. Brilliant finish. Saliba. Arriba, arriba, Saliba. My God. <laughs> Bro, it's... It's been a while. I mean, like we, I was talking about before he came back to us and, you know, there was rumours about him not wanting to play for Arsenal and he's still hurting from what happened with Arteta. But you have to say the way it's been handled by the club, by Arteta and especially by Saliba. You said about um, an attitude that certain players have to have. When they don't feature in the team, they want, they want to fight. They want to say, you know what, once I, put, once I get in that first team, no one is taking my place. Saliba is, is playing in these games and he's saying, no one is going to take over my place. Not, not Gabriel, not Ben White, not Tommy Asu, no one. And it's, he's so young. But like I said, people, I remember in the first game and I watched him, I said, bro, he actually reminds me of Van Dijk. Dare I say it? Oh, you can't say that. Bro, look at how he plays. He plays so simple. He reads the game. He's always on the cover. He leads from the back and he can play football. That's, he's perfect. He's literally perfect for us. And so it was just great. The finish was amazing. It was like Messi, like where he looked, mm. he just looked and then he just dinked it over the keeper, top corner. It was fantastic. And then, you know, the, the fact that we've got the chant for him, the fact he was clapping the fans after, apparently the stadium was rocking with his name. As a player, that's what you love. You want to be, you want to build a legacy at the club and he's beginning to do that. So I'm just really happy for him, man. Mm. Really and, and, and three wins in a row, top of the league at the moment, at the moment, but top of the league at the moment, Scoring goals for fun. Goals. Um, you optimistic for this season? I'm excited for this season. I'm excited. Um, I remember Cecil asked me this on the last game of the season. I said, you know what? We'll see how the summer goes, who we bring in. I'm so excited. I feel there's a, there's a passion. There's a buzz around this, the city. There's a buzz around London, North London. People are proud to say they're Arsenal fans. Um, I feel like we're going to do something special. It might not be this season, 
But within the next two seasons, I, I guarantee we're going to win a trophy. That's, that's my gut feeling because what we're building here is something special. And no one can look at that team and look at the performance that we've been putting in and say, mm, I don't know about Arsenal. This is something special. This is something different. To go to Crystal Palace, like you said, Crystal Palace away from home. We dealt with Leicester. Just, you know, we dealt with Leicester. And now to deal with Bournemouth. Now people say, oh, that's a lesser team. These are the teams we used to struggle against for many seasons. And now we're coming in and we're crushing them. <laughs> we are crushing them, bro. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform. So check it out.